bad. So welcome everybody. Can everybody hear okay? Okay. Well, what a wonderful, what a wonderful event, wonderful venue, food, and wonderful company. Thanks everybody who has worked on this. And uh, most importantly, of course, is that we're here to celebrate the engagement of two very lovely, valued people in our lives, Megan and Nick. Now, this, is, this has not been a short or easy road. It has taken a few twists, a few turns, but it comes from a, a very good base value of the families and the people that are involved in their lives. And I do want to say hello to a few, uh, recognize a few special guests tonight. Of course, uh, Nick's parents, yeah. Yvonne and Michael. Uh -oh. Yay! Blake, right here. And Nick's sister, Lacey. Lacey, yeah. And her entourage that she has with her, <laughs> including her husband, uh, Matthew. And then we also have uh, some faces of the past of a couple years ago, famous uh, speech maker, Pac Dong. <laughs> and, and his wife, Ellen, is here, who loves the shrimp. And of course, they're, they're here not just by accident. They happen to have a good reason to be here, and that's with the reason of our wonderful son and his lovely wife, Bonnie. Who are here with us and, you know, the, the name Michael is a good name because there seem to be a lot of Michaels in this audience. The number of Johns are actually kind of going down in <laughs> So we're going to be fighting back. But I talk about the, the, the road. These two uh, young people uh, had very good upbringings in different geographic parts of the world, but had so many things in common with their travels, with their active and involved parents and engaged parents and their good fortune of, of going to good schools and getting good educations and including a big part of that is getting to know each other in college. Yes. They met each other at the University of Redlands in I think about 2006, is that kind of right? As freshmen, matric matriculating, Megan had decided that she wanted to go to Redlands like the first time she saw the campus. It was like Tennis, outdoors, warm weather, and no snow to shovel. So she thought that was pretty good. And I suspect Nick might have had some of the same motivations coming out of Gallup, but probably for some different reasons. So we'll, we might learn about that later. So. Uh, in any event, they, they uh, met each other as freshmen, but just were acquaintances and really didn't have any kind of active involvement or engagement or whatever. And in fact, the different things and so on. But at least that's what the official line is. I don't know <laughs> what really happened. But in any event, in the fall of their senior year, they kind of saw each other. And there was some little spark that kind of clicked a little bit one way or another. And it seems to me you guys went on a trip, uh, like an uh, adventure group trip to Gallup. Uh, in the van, in the school van of all things, school paid. I thought that was kind of a good deal. For that. <laughs> but uh, you know, through the series of that, they s s found that they really were had a great appeal for each other, a great affection for each other, and it shows then, and it showed then, and it shows today. And we had the opportunity of meeting Nick's parents the first time on graduation day, um, whereby uh, we, I think, kind of met each other for lunch. Uh, including grandmas at that time, and the chemistry was pretty good there. Uh, <laughs> Michael, Michael, would, Michael was quiet and shy, and Yvonne had a few things on her mind to, to chat about, so that worked out pretty good. And uh, our, I guess his parents felt that there was a lot of common bonds amongst all of us. Uh, the time goes on uh, to graduate, and of course go on to Durango, and I'm saying, well, you know, graduation's a good time, but maybe get some sort of commitment out of this thing. But nothing, nothing really materialized in uh, Durango. So a couple years later, they're off to uh, Buena Vista, and I go, okay, well, they're in Buena Vista, this is cool, kind of back to Nick's whitewater rafting country and the high country of beautiful hiking and outdoors. What better to do than to get like 
engaged you know, when they move into, into uh, Buena Vista. Well, sure enough, no, no, that doesn't happen. So then there's the, uh, you know, like the buying of the house. Okay, now we're talking, you know, on the mortgage, 30 years. Yeah, might be a commitment, make it want to memorialize this in some way. No, silent, just like, uh, no. I mean, even, if, even if these two would go to other weddings and some of our family, sad events that happened where there were ministers and officiants around. I said, hey guys, good timing, you know, they're here, we have an audience, come on. No. So in any event, the long story made short, Mesa shows up and that was the tie that bound the two of them together. Me. Uh, but, you know, wonderful dog. Both of them uh, take great care of the dog. They are uh, <laughs> there's there's lots of dog stories you could get into. We, we, we won't, but it's, but it's good practice child rearing, exactly, or maybe dealing with your spouse as well, keeping them on short leash from time to time. In any event, <laughs> last summer, last summer, uh, Cindy and I are up at Fallen Leaf Lake in California on our holiday, and the phone rings, and uh, the, the phone system there is not very good, and there's like one line you have to kind of walk around the house, and sure enough, it's Nick on the line saying, uh, we're, on a, we're going on a camping trip, uh, will you, okay, I'd like to marry your daughter. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> and you're, oh, you're on a bike on your way back to your house as you were packing to go on your camping trip. Okay, well, that was pretty quick, and I said, well, let me go get Cindy on the line, too. So, over to the upper house, upstairs, finally got Cindy out in about... In the shower. Oh, yeah, you were in the shower, that's right. Came out, and so I, I said, Nick has something to ask us. And Nick says, uh, so it's so on speakerphone, Nick says, well, I'd like to marry your daughter. So Cindy goes, yes, absolutely. <laughs> right away. So there was no, you know, no, no consideration other than he knew it was right. I knew it was wrong. And we think it's right for sure. But anyway, we've got, we've got, at least we're as far now as uh, an engagement party, which was really good. <laughs> so all the, all the direction is the right way, which is good. And I think we're down to, I don't know, less than 60 days to all uh, tell a big event, which is going to be held in Buena Vista in their uh, home country, back in a, a field that is, uh, does not have power. Uh, all the food is going to be brought in, all of the laboratories are going to be brought in, all the music is going to be brought in, and uh, we'll be, I think there's a picture of two cattle in a snowbank in here, and that's the winter view, and we'll have the summer view uh, when we get out there in, in August. <laughs> so, uh, for my two cents, uh, I really wish you the very best. We're going to have fun in another 60 days. But uh, to be engaged is wonderful. You two are two great lovebirds, and I can't think of a better combination than the perfect combination right here. Just uh, like to say a couple of words. I think uh, uh, I can speak for Yvonne that we're very, very happy with upcoming marriage. Uh, we love Megan. Uh, we're very happy to join with the Gilpin family. And uh, I want to say thank you for your hospitality. Really enjoyed it. Uh, did some bike riding today, jumped in the lake. Uh, it was excellent. And just want to say thank you. And uh, we love Megan. And uh, I think this is uh, wonderful. All right, Michael. Well, thanks for everyone for coming today. I think I met all of you two years ago. With, uh, Michael and Bonnie's thing. And uh, a couple of years before that, my sister had her engagement party here as well. Right here. Yeah. Wedding reception. I wasn't there for that. Anyway, but um, yeah, the love in this room is great, and your guys' support means the world to Megan and I, and uh, thanks everyone for making the trip. Uh, yeah, you guys are all totally awesome. <laughs> yes, rocks! Woo! Thanks, guys.
getting Huxley for a stroll, yeah, huh? Good to see you. you. Yeah, you like it. Like yeah. <laughs> I see you got your Jazzy you Walker. Watching that sky for yep, big storm up at McGregor. Great big one. Got ahead of it. Yep. Good. Right into the hot sun and the muggy heat. Yeah. <laughs> Sewing for a ride, Huxley? Your buddies over there. Right. Where is it? Megan. Stomping in there. <laughs> oh, it's not as good as that. Not as, no, not as good as the chalk. Strawberry, Megan. I'm going to give that one back. <laughs> 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 